hi to Chaco. You said you were living in Tokyo. Did you study there or and how are the prices to live there? I did study there Japanese for two years. Then I, I tried to set up a business there. Um, it's kind of failed at some point. Mostly just because I lost passion. I lost my will. Uh, I didn't want to live in Tokyo anymore. At least I, I wanted to travel around a little bit more. So, uh, yeah, and then especially when I started streaming, I couldn't maintain my, uh, my, you know, the cost to live in Tokyo and my visa. So, uh, I had to leave Tokyo. I would have preferred uh, staying in Tokyo than going back to the Netherlands, but, you know, I couldn't. Uh, and how are the prices to live there? I mean, it's, it's, uh, relatively expensive. Of course, it's a big city. Uh, I mean, it's not expensive compared to other cities around the world that are the same size and uh you know but it is a big city so it's you know a it's also you know a bit more expensive than the rest of asia but uh you know i could live with uh one thousand uh, dollars a month most of it went to rent but i didn't go to restaurants every day you know some other people you know they go uh to restaurants every day and then and then they go drinking, etc. And then, you know, they, they spent a nice $3,000 a month. This, uh, this turtle is going down. Players forces are under attack. The, uh, front here. Oh, Blade Master creeping on the other side of the map. He has uh, two rings of protection. He bought the circle, of course. Death Knight kills one turtle creep camp. Uh, what I use, I used this website to compare seat. prices. Um, I forgot what the website was, but you can Google like compare cost of living between cities. So if you're really interested, you should just, uh, yeah, Google it yourself. The Death Knight here got a ring of protection. So many rings of protection so far on this map. Every uh, item has been a ring of protection. I mean, every item that can be a ring of protection has been a ring of protection. Darker than black? Isn't that the name of an anime? A player's forces are under attack. This uh, forest tool is dead. This grunt is Maiko back. Meanwhile, the blade master going for the ogre warrior. This grunt is uh, Maiko going so so fast. Did you visit Akihabara? Yeah, I've been there a few times. In fact, I've no, I've a few times. Probably like five times or so in total. It's uh, there's not much reason for me to go there. I mean. It's a place you want to go if you have money to spend. If you just want to do shopping for either anime stuff or uh, computer stuff, you go to Akihabara. Hey, Michael Boombringer. The Blade Master creeps his level 5. What did he get? He got evasion. Okay, it's not quite a ring of protection, but, you know, very similar, of course. He did sell his rings of protection. Uh, he bought another circlet. Got a clause of attack as well, by the way, which is not a ring of protection. <laughs> Death Knight is ahead in XP though, because the Blade Master has been running across the map, getting all the items. While well, the Death Knight is just uh, getting all the uh, XPs, killing all the uh, the grunts, the turtles, uh, not the, not the grunts. I mean, he's killing grunts now, but grunts escape. But he's been killing the creeps there. The Blade Master, he's quite beautiful. He's gone for this turtle creep camp. I heard Akihabara is an interesting place full of weird people. Is it is it true? I mean, a lot of otaku, a lot of uh, anime fans or, co or computer, computer geeks. Huh? <laughs> I guess uh, a lot of uh, gamers, I guess you'll find there as well. I mean, you find people that visit, um, that go to, how do you call them? Mate cafes, I guess. So. Maybe on average has more weird people than anywhere else. There's a lich. Hey, Black Citadel being upgraded. As an anime fan, an anime, anime fan, I would like to visit once. Oh, oh, the Death Knight wants to kill this turtle. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, uh, when I the first time I went to uh, Japan, I also was you know excited to go there. Okay, well, 
There's a hex. Okay, can he get this uh, raccoon? The blade master using his big ass sword to try to kill this raccoon. But there's a coil on the raccoon. Uh, it's not enough though to save the raccoon. The raccoon is still dead. The list is almost out. And uh, of course, so we will get this uh, turtle. I used to be into anime. Uh, now I just watch a little bit. Just grunt here, gets his healing uh, self cancelled. This uh, turtle, who gets a turtle? Not the death knight, he's a little uh, rat. The shadow hunter got XP, so uh, blade master shared the other half of the uh, XP. Tome, uh, potion of greater mana is nice. I mean, this oh, matchup, I kind of want the attack. potion of greater healing though, or the potion of info over the potion of greater mana. But since he doesn't have that much mana yet on the shadow hunter, I guess it's you know it's still pretty good, pretty amazing item. Shadowhunter is still level 1 though. Is, do we see anything strange here? We see a fortress stack. We see a war mill. We see a, beast, a raider being built. So nothing strange here for Serene. And the same here for Lucifer. I mean, nothing strange to this. He's not, uh, he's not going for a fortress. He's going for a black citadel, of course, because he's undead. The death knight here got a skull of the beast, right? Oh, that's so good. This is such a great item. Oh, Anima. <laughs> We're talking about Anima now. Okay, Billy Wiggins, he got me, uh, he trolled me. I wasn't paying enough attention. We're talking about Anima now. Anima <laughs> is a good human. <laughs> is he from Japan? Oh, well, uh, there goes the level six. Uh, sc uh, Scourge Bone Chimes, not that useful here for Lucifer. What did we get here for Serene? Oh, Cat Gush Pipe of Inside, okay. Plenty of mana now. Plenty of mana. Now he needs some more uh, DPS for his Blade Master. Uh, actually, he has he has a bit of DPS. Uh, yeah, and some more Invo potions and healing potions, I guess, or healing items. Is uh, are going to be nice because his uh, heroes are still a bit. You know, his Blade Master has the evasion, but besides that, his heroes are still a bit easy to kill. Death Knight going for the next creep camper, especially with this scroll of the beast. Oh, Blade Master is going for a ghoul. We have banshees here, by the way. This ghoul is uh, is dead. These ghouls going over here. We have a fiend and statues as well. Everyone is scared here from the evil Blade Master. It's like a horror movie. What is this? A player's what is attack. this? Did he misclick? Did he misclick the Dark Ranger or the the Pit Lord? Maybe he thinks he put, took the pit lord because they're both lords. Death Knight uh, gets uh, or, uh, the aura of armor. Keep his home. Interesting. Is it because he's going for a timing attack before the burrow upgrade? No. The burrow is already uh, upgraded. Spirit Lodge being upgraded. Kodo uh, aura being upgraded. Death Knight is almost level 4. We'll get the death pact, of course, hopefully, for uh, Lucifer. The Lich level 3. Meanwhile, over here, we have uh, level 3 Shadow Hunter now with the Info Potion. TC is level 3 almost, and he has the Evasion Blade and the Info Potion. Actually, attack. the Shadow Hunter doesn't have it anymore because he gave it to the TC. The Blade Master has the big Info Potion. And, uh, okay, maybe he TP'd home so he could creep this. Banshee is still alive. She took a lot of damage. Madonna of Courage gives it to the Crypt Lord. He sees the Crypt Lord now. He's like, what the fuck? What? And the Banshee dies in one shot. Of course. Easy peasy. And the Ogre. Wait, did, did he pick up the Tome? I'm not sure. Because the Crypt Lord is kind of hurt still. The Death Knight as well. I feel like the Blade Master picked up the Tome there. Didn't do, didn't matter that much. I mean, we have statues here to heal up the Crypt Lord and the uh, Death Knight anyway. You will Shadow Hunter creeping over here with the TC. TC is level three, so we have three, three, three here for Serene. Three, 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 and we have uh, four, three, one, two, four, three, two here for uh, Lucifer. So here levels are pretty, pretty close. Did he pick level? What did he pick? Oh, he picked level two in Holy Aura. Definitely don't like that. I definitely like the Death Pack better. Uh, Death Knight 
is just such an easy target without a death pack. Meanwhile, the Blade Master killing some uh, units here. He wants level 4 as well. He wants uh, to have the hero level advantage. What item does he get here? Claws of Attack and Tome of Agility. That's just so insane. Well, for now, the TC has the Claws of Attack. Uh, there's Nova. We have uh, this Creepjack, by the way. The Grunt here almost dies, but the Speed Scroll saves him, for now at least. Does he have a Spirit Doctor yet? A Spirit Walker? He's getting, getting a Spirit Walker. This Grunt is still alive. This Captain uh, is going down fast. But the Blade Master misses, so it didn't go down super fast. It just went down uh, pretty fast. 58 supply against 57. Here comes the attack. But there's the shop is over there. Oh, this choke. This is a choke I talked about uh, some other day. How the shop can create chokes. And uh, it's, it could be pretty bad. So this radiator pretty much dies for free. But this coda dies for free as well. All because of this shop creating the choke. And so we're not being able to, to fight there. This fiend here uh, takes some damage. But we have... Uh, how do you call this spell? Impale. Uh, Foster armor coil. The Crypt Lord is kind of stuck. Oh no, he's not stuck. Never mind. There's a nice dispel there by the spirit walkers on the the, the armor thing. Foster armors, but uh, that means that he doesn't have any more dispels. So no dispels here for the curses. Uh, there goes the fiend. The TC. Oh, TC has the info potion. He uses it, of course. He can also steal some mana. The school of the beast also was dispelled, of course, when he used that uh, dispel. So it was definitely worth it. Oh, the TC is in trouble now, though. Or he's not because of Healing Wave. Healing for so much. And he has so much mana here on this Shadow Hunter. He will never run out of mana. Uh, the Grunts here dying one by one. This Banshee. The Banshee's dead. No more Banshees. Uh, so no more extra curses. So maybe if we can dispel somehow this curse. Uh, he doesn't have mana with on his one Spirit Walker. We have uh, a Piggy Death Knight. Here comes the Kodo. And the Fiend's already uh, burrowing. This one. Oh, this one got eaten. Spirit Walker did go down. There get, went uh, another fiend went down. This, uh, Abomination takes a coil. This Kodo is uh, is doing some nice attacks. This fiend goes down. Crypt Lord here uses Impale on one Blade Master and one one uh, how do you call him? Had the Berserker, killing the Berserker. This Berserker is also dead. Uh, but you know there's a TP out. I feel like he uh, should have brought some more skeletons. Lucifer should have. I'm not sure if he even brought any skeletons. Skeletons are just so good. Against uh, an army that's very heavy on, on berserkers and raiders or, or raiders. In this case, it was mostly berserkers. But uh, Lucifer is 10 supply up. Remember, it's minus 3, so it's actually only 8, eight supply up. And he will probably just go right back after he, he heals up. But uh, Death Knight has quite some healing to do. Healing. Guys, give the Death Knight your power. Send him your uh, your thoughts. Oh, we are going for an expansion for Serene, but is that smart? I don't know if that's smart. That's so much gold invested right now, just as uh, Lucifer is just going to attack again. Or is he is he going to creep? Did use a greater mana potion, so no longer infinite mana here on the Shadow Hunter. He still has a lot of mana with the Bronze Aura, but no longer infinite. Uh, this fiend in trouble. He does have burrow. There's no dust. He burrows. Did uh, okay. Lucifer just going for this expansion. In fact, scouted somehow. Ghouls, ghouls are coming with it. With him. Are under I guess he just knows how so in place. What's the definite buying here? Scroll of Protection. And he doesn't have a TP, so... Uh, so we can go for base race, but he doesn't have a single raider. He has like one grunt. And that's... Besides, it's just magic damage, piercing damage, hero damage. Everything is does reduce damage against buildings. So he doesn't kill it super fast. So, uh, you know what? Lucifer just goes, kills the expansion, TPs out. His peons are might cut away. Okay, uh, he does still lose the base race, apparently. That uh, was pretty close. Uh, the TC in trouble. What is the TC doing here? He stomps. That's what he's doing here. He was probably still slowed by the by the Black Citadel. But, you know, he's taking a lot of damage. He has the Info Potion. He might have to use it at some point. Because we have another Nova or Impil. No, we don't. We have a, a Ghoul here behind. But where's the Blade Master? Is the Blade Master going to kill the Ghoul? But Lucifer doesn't follow. 
feel like he should have kept following so uh, th that if the Blade Master went for the ghoul, he could maybe try to fight here, kill some units. Oh, there goes the other ghoul. The other ghoul is so dead. This ghoul is also about to die. He killed a peon. The ghoul did die. Lucifer is behind in spy now. Blade Master going for Banshee. Blade Master takes some damage. And still there's the info potion. Is he going to kill uh, those Banshees that are just running for their lives? Uh, we have a nice stomp. Maybe uh, the, the fiend gets eaten. Okay. The Berserkers use their Berserker ability. Maybe the Crypt Lord is just here to kill Berserkers. But I'm not sure if it's better than a Dark Ranger against Berserkers. Uh, there it goes another Berserker. This fiend here is dead. We have... Uh, did he kill all the Banshees? Or one of them? Or both of them? He did kill both of them. Uh, meanwhile over here. We have an Info Potion being used here on the Blade Master. Lich could use a Coil. Where's the Coil? He has an info potion. Okay, there was no coil because he was a bit little piggy. There's a uh, impale, but uh, I mean the coil saves the creep lord. Lich here in danger now. Lich, he just used the coil and he's a little uh, cra selfish. GG. Hermit crap, I mean GG. He was level 4. Okay, then he had level 2 endurance or level 2 uh, stomp. Go on, actually, one last game. Yep. Uh, okay, what do we have here? So we have the Blade Master here with the Grunt. He's gonna creep. The Death Knight is about to be born in, uh, in a minute or so. A second Fiend is being built. This Fiend is doing uh, some nibbling on this Ogre. The Blade Master, he got a circlet. Samuro, guys. Samuro. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, look at this Fiend. Sending his little baby Fiends to uh, try to make this Ogre his lunch. It's lunch time, right? Ah, it's pretty late for lunch. Maybe it's dinner already. Uh, wait, there's the Death Knight. For a second, I thought, like, wait, wait a second. Where did the Death Knight go? Did he cancel the Death Knight? Is he going for something else? No, it's a Death Knight. And he uh, kills the Ogre, gets a Gloves of Haste. Meanwhile, the Blade Master going for this uh, level 5 Ogre over here. So, uh, obviously, we're watching Soween and not Focus. If we were watching Focus, Focus would have killed uh, only, I think only the item, right? And then uh, go for over d oh, here to this creep camp. But uh, Sawin, Sawin is not focused, so he does a different creep route. Probably he switches up a creep route maybe now and then to not be too predictable. A ring of protection there to protect Samuro or to sell it to the shop. And uh, the Death Knight finds a grunt. He gets hit by the grunt. He hits him back. What a nice fight here between the Death Knight and the grunt. The Blade Master here. He sells the ring of protection. Buys another circlet. Death Knight killed the piggy and has now two skeletons. <laughs> Meanwhile, over here, the fiend's creeping a with a ghoul or two. <laughs> and, uh. Beautiful game. Quite a beautiful game so far. Poor little piggy. Yeah, the piggy. Sorry, piggy. The poacher here is dead. We have a tome of strength here. The Death Knight picks it up. And uh, more fiends are being. Summoned. Blade Master, what is he going to do here? Is he going for the item? Looks like he's going for the item. Or is he? Is he going to creep the entire creep camp? Buy a Berserker? He's going for the Cobalt Geomancer. Buys the Berserker. He's going for the entire creep camp. Meanwhile, uh, oh, Lucifer is going to get this Ogre Magi. Easy peasy because the Blade Master is nowhere close by. It wasn't quite high enough, the last uh, part of the death sound, but that's fine. The kobold there dies. This kobold is also dead. Then he's going to kill the wizard. Meanwhile, over here we have... What item do we have? A potion of greater mana. It's always nice, of course. Always. Almost always. I mean, as undead, it's always nice. Kills the uh, troll. Blade master. He got a ring of regeneration. Not quite the item he wanted. Actually, probably the worst one. Um, he could have gotten... So maybe it's better than Ring of uh, Protection plus 3. He's killing this Ogre Magi. Meanwhile, the Death Knight killing these units over here. Is it best of 5? Yep. Death Knight is almost level uh, 3. Blade Master, he's just killing this Forceful Trapper with his sword. He's, it's quite beautiful. Oh, he's dead. So uh, he's level 3. Death Knight almost level 3. Uh, if they're gauged right now, it's pretty bad for Lucifer. He needs to level 3 ASAP. Well, not fast enough. The Blade Master is gonna cut some fiends apart. 
Probably won't kill anyone because the Shadow Hunter, you know, he's just gonna creep. But he is gonna buy some time. Or is he gonna get level 3 here? Is that enough? If that's enough, he is level 3. And the Blade Master now. I mean, uh, it's so much harder to do any damage because uh, the coil just heals for, well, twice as much as a level 1 coil. So. He can take a bit of damage. And a coil. Uh, Lich is almost out, but uh, I don't think Lucifer can do much until the Lich is out. This Blade Master by himself is stronger than four fiends and a Death Knight. Oh, where's the coil? Too late, Lucifer. Not, not playing safe enough. Like everyone saw that fiend. Everyone saw there was no coal tower. Like everyone here in my chat knew the fiend was going to die. Lucifer should have known as well. Lich here is almost out. This uh, skeleton. Uh oh, poor little skeleton. Skeleton is uh, at two hit points. Oh, he's dead. Meanwhile, Shadow Hunter, level two. He has Sentry Wars. Wow, Sentry Wars is, of course, such an insane item. You know, Death Knight killing some innocent Murlocs. There's a Lich. There's a Slaughterhouse. There's a Fiend. There's Black Citadel. There's a Blade Master. Chat smarter than Lucifer Kappa. We smart. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Uh, of course, Lucifer is uh, is microing, etc. He cannot just watch like we do, so uh, he has to think about all different kinds of stuffs. So, considering uh, you know, Lucifer is using a lot of his IQ on uh, on other stuff. IQ he has left to think about, you know, how to micro his fiends it is not that high. Kills the Murloc. With the coil, Tome of Agility plus two. This is almost level two. We have a little Blade Master here. This fiend, man. I. <laughs> just for just skipping on this Nerubian Tower. Like, if the, if the Blade Master was in the base, he could just kill the fiend, kill some ghouls, maybe. He doesn't have the orb yet, but. Still. I mean, that's why he's getting Burrow, maybe, so he can just Burrow the Fiend, but the statue now... Okay, actually, he's, uh, he will force a TP here, I mean, uh, so he will force a TP on Lucifer. Lucifer got a Ring of Protection plus 3, Coil... Oh, this Raider in trouble! This Raider dies and then TP out. So it wasn't actually bad here for Lucifer, getting this big-ass turtle and the Raider, uh, only using one TP. Pretty good. And Lucifer now, he, he rejoins with his, uh, Fiend and the statue in his base. And now that the Black Citadel is up, of course he doesn't need an Arubian Tower anymore because he has a Cold Tower. There's another statue. Ah. Shadow Hunter level 3, TC level 1, Blade Master level 3.65. And uh, forces are under attack. Tome of Strength. Good. This uh, should take advice from us, Kappa. I put some thought into the panda. It's eight for Breath of Fire, but you can't combine it with Drunken Haze. What? I think on the Drunken Haze Breath of Fire uh, combination, there's no limit. I mean, the limit is, of course, yeah, how many units you can actually hit with the Drunken Haze. Uh, Blade Master here killing this uh, this ghoul. What's a ghoul? This is that ghoul. But if all the uh, wait, are you saying there's a limit of four on Drunken Haze? I don't think that's what you're saying, right? Because if you have a bunch of gargoyles, for example, all bunched up, you can hit them all with one Drunken Haze. It doesn't happen that much in Work of Three. Uh, Lich is almost level three. Death Knight almost level four. Meanwhile, the Blade Master, he's, he's searching. Searching for Lucifer. Hey, NC. No limit for Drunken Haze? Okay. Okay, the Sentry Ward sees everything. Lucifer, can he creep this creep camp? If he can, he can get a level 4 Death Knight, level 3 Lich. There is... Uh, actually, is that enough? 
Of what is uh what do you see here for Sweden? Level 2 TC. Actually, we have a Dark Ranger. I like that a lot. A Dark Ranger third instead of a Crypt Lord. These heroes both so close. I think one kill, any kill. Not any kill. But one kill should be enough to get those hero levels up. Level 4 Death Knight, level 3 Lich. Lich needs 10 XP. Death Knight needs 5 XP. Uh, there are no creeps left on the map. There is a statue being built here for Lucifer. Lucifer at 53 supply, so in the 54. TC level 2, Shadow Hunter level 3, Blade Master level 3.6. Oh, we have so many fiends here. He's going in for the attack. Does he use a frost armor on one of these fake fiends just to uh, sell <laughs> to sell the fiends, right? To sell the bluff on the fiends. We have four destroyers now. Lucifer at 59. Sabine, uh, did he cancel something? He went down to 52 and now up to 54. He's getting a bat rider. He's getting uh, berserkers. Blade Master. He's going for one of the fake fiends. There's no statues. He kills one of the fake fiends. Of course, with the, the Persia Orbit goes down very fast. Uh, one Koda goes down fast. Raider goes down fast. Not a single real fiend has been killed yet. This real fiend here takes a bit of damage. The Berserker goes down. This real fiend gets a coil. This Berserker is... Uh, this other Berserker is... Is going down pretty fast. Well, he survives this one. Uh, the other one dies. There goes another Berserker. The Dark Ranger is still level 1, isn't she? No, she's level 2 now. Uh, so now she can summon some Dark Skeletons. Uh, there's one. Dark Minions. There's a Bat Rider helping out the Blade Master, killing a Destroyer. This Grunt here is dead. We have Oh, he's not dead, actually. The the Fiend is dead, is what I meant to say. This Fiend is uh, going to be my code, maybe. Like, yeah, Frost Armor Coil. That's, that's nice. Nice stomp. Uh, and the Fiend actually goes down. So now it's... Uh, now oh, there's a dust, so the Blade Master, he has a healing potion, uses it, he tries to kill this statue, but he might die himself. No Nova or anything to kill off the Blade Master, he, uh, he was still on cooldown. Dells have mana for Nova. Lucifer 38, so we need 37, but I think this is good for Lucifer, because this time he does have the Dark Ranger. 4, 3, 2 hero levels against, uh, you know, 4, 3, 2, same, same hero levels. But the TC not level, being level 3 is really good for Lucifer, of course. Blade Master's low on hit points. He doesn't have a healing self. Wow. He doesn't have a healing self. Lucifer could have just killed the shop and won the game. But, you know, he was uh, hungry for blood. Just trying to kill units. He didn't realize maybe there was no healing self. No clarities. Now uh, now he used the clarity here on the Shadow Hunter. Healing self on the Blade Master. We have two raiders. I don't like these uh, armies, by the way. I've said this so many times. Raiders and berserkers don't go well together. You do not build, you do not kill on that armies with this uh, army composition. He's getting Kodo and more berserkers. What is, uh, what do we have here? Statues and fiends. Well, maybe if it's very heavy destroyer, you have a chance with this uh, unit composition. Maybe that's fine. Right. We have one destroyer only though. There's another fiend. There's more uh, statues. Uh, hey, Maxcellent. Welcome back. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, uh, Maxcellent. Hi, guys. Why doesn't Sawin stream? Maybe he doesn't stream when he plays tournaments. Just to uh, keep focused on the game. I don't know. I'm just saying. I, I don't know why he doesn't stream. Okay, well, uh, since we're just uh, waiting around. Since you're from the Netherlands, would you say that Amsterdam is too overrun by tourists and therefore not a good place to visit these days? I don't even know. Like, I've only been to Amsterdam once and I was a tourist. <laughs> I don't even know Amsterdam. I don't know what the price is. It's probably a few hundred dollars. Probably first place like 200. Anyway, we have a fight here. Lucifer is, uh, doesn't want these towers to go up, but he's a bit too late. One tower already up. Can he fight here? Not if the second tower goes up. He will probably have to go to the main. And uh, maybe he can snipe some peons. Okay, he's, uh, okay, this tower is probably not going up. Okay, Lucifer kills the tower. TC is silenced. Uh, Blade Master is being nuked. This fiend took a lot of damage though. 
Uh, needs more micro on this fiend because, you know, oh, actually, it's fine. Never mind. Uh, there's a nice stomp. The other fiend went down. And uh, the death knight here is doing his best. He's doing his best. There's a coil on the fiend. So one fiend died and the raider died. Fiend's back. Back from uh, underground. The blade master. He is being heal soft. So one more heal soft on the shadow hunter. This tower is so annoying. This first just probably hates this sound. Oh, the uh, headhunter dies so fast. Turns into a skeleton. Same, almost same here, but the healing healing wave saves him for now. There's a coil on the fiend saving the fiend. Uh, this guy does go down, but no skeleton pops out. The TC uh, takes a healing potion from the blade master, but is he going to die? He's still dead. Uh, destroyer died in uh, in return, but that means that the TC will never reach level three. There's a coil on the destroyer saving the destroyer. These the berserkers they just so bad against the dark ranger. Although uh, there was a nice trade, of course, a berserker for a uh, destroyer. And the Kodo ate that fiend, but the Kodo is dead, guys. The fiend, what is he going to do? He's going to die as well. There's frost armor, but the coil is still on cooldown. I think uh, can he get there in time? No. The fiend is dead, but now we only have these uh, medium armor units that I was talking about. Berserkers and uh, skeleton, uh, berserkers and raiders are pretty bad against the Dark Ranger, but this tower defending very well. Buys the info potion and dust. As the info potion on the Lich, info potion on the Dark Ranger. There's no TC. The Shadow Hunter has only one mana. One mana left, one <laughs> one spell left to cast. Mana wise. Uh, death Knight took a, takes a lot of damage from the Berserkers. Berserkers just focusing the Death Knight. One of them dies. There's a coil on the Fiend. The second Berserker is also dead. Turns into a skeleton. This Berserker also dead. This uh, Blade Master killing skeletons now. All the Berserkers are done being berserked. Uh, there goes a Fiend with three Raiders, three Berserkers. Now the fiend is dead. The tower doing us so much damage, right? It's like the main damage dealer here. Besides the blade master, it's like the tower shop needed to be canceled there. And Lucifer going for his own expansion. You see, is he finally going to kill this tower? If he kills this tower, I'm not sure so can uh, hold on. Even though he's uh, up in supply, he doesn't. Oh, his TC is already out. Okay, his TC is out. Almost level three. When the tower survives, the raider goes down. No skeleton. Uh, so the, our, the dark range. Oh, but the uh, blade master gets a healing potion from TC. TC is now level three. The stomp was still level two, but TC, uh, the blade master now. So, oh, he dies. He dies. Uh, but you know, it doesn't isn't over yet. Because uh, what does Lucifer have left? Two statues, three heroes, and a fiend that just joined. Of course, he's building his own expansion, so uh, he doesn't need to kill this expansion uh, anymore. Uh, but he has a level 5 death knight now. This raider is being microed back. He does have uh, no more mana. So this is a pretty difficult fight for Suin. He's uh, just relying on this one tower. And this tower is... Uh, yeah, he kills the statue. Nice job, tower. There goes a uh, berserker. This raider here, super low on hit points. Could be killed. One shot, one kill. And that someone did take that shot. I would have liked to see the dark ranger do the shot. And here we have a skeleton. The skeletons are actually only level 1. This is uh, kind of strange. Usually we see level 2 skeletons, level 1 silence. We have double Kodo here for uh, the win, and he's going for more raiders and headhunters or uh, berserkers. The expansion is almost up. He is uh, he's building more acolytes. The hero levels are much uh, better here for Lucifer, right? Or much better, slightly better. 4-4-3 four, four, for Serene. 5-4-3 for Lucifer. He has 4 info potions. He just keeps buying more info potions. His heroes are just so strong and uh, they cannot die with 4 info potions. Hello. Even if the Blade Master was alive. Uh, these peons are dying. This He cannot defend without a Blade Master. Shouldn't he have maybe bought the Blade Master back from the tavern? Because, uh, well, I mean. Hmm. We'll be back pretty soon. There's not that much mana left on the Death Knight. Should probably be spamming. Yeah, Spirit Touch. That's what he's doing. 
Fiend uh, wants to go home. Hello, Raiders. Let him go home. The Raiders with their ensnare. They... Oh, nice dodge there on the ensnare with the Burrow. And uh, actually, the Fiend <laughs> gets out of range of the tower. Uh, this expansion is up now for Lucifer. And Lucifer is uh, behind a little bit in supply. Ahead a little bit in the hero's strength. And, you know, yeah. They both have equal income right now. So still anyone can win this game. What are the upgrades like? Berserkers are 0-0. Zero, zero. The fiends are 1-1. One, one. Okay, 1-1 one, one on the fiends. What do you dislike about Berserkers plus Raiders? I feel like they... They don't accomplish they uh they accomplish different goals and it's like they they don't work well together. Like raiders are good for hero kills or base race. Berserkers are not good for hero kills or base race, they're good at killing units. Uh but the raiders, you know, you need something else to help kill heroes. Like right. Not not berserkers. <laughs> Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see some Nurkids here on the Blade Master. Of course, the Dark Ranger has plenty of Info Potions, so the coil there on the Dark Ranger are not that important. Um, we have two Info Potions now on the Death Knight, two on the Dark Ranger and one on the Lich. Uh, there was a nice stomp, level 2 stomp, of course, and now these Berserkers did so much damage in the Berserk form. Oh, the Kodo eats a... It's a... Uh, uh, whatever you call it, Abomination without... Uh, wait, the Kodo... First, the Abomination was in my code. Then the Kodo was in my code. So both players just uh, effing up their micro there horribly there. Both Kodos dead. That's great for Lucifer. No more Kodos. So these Berserkers uh, suddenly do not that much damage anymore. Same with the Blade Master. They lost 20% damage. So uh, this, he has to wait for the next Kodo. Uh, Lucifer though. I'm not sure if he can attack into the tower. Even with the Blight over there. I like the uh, Berserkers. Berserkers are fine. I just think um, I don't like that many raiders late game. I don't like the raiders. Unless you go mass raiders and you go base race. Although we don't like that very much. It is a very valid strategy. Death Knight bought the DP just uh, to be safe. And he's, he's, is he attacking into the tower? Okay, this Berserker is going down fast. The Abomination, Eden, I'm not sure if you could have micro the Abomination. One Raider dies there. The Blade Master going for a statue. TC is silenced. And uh, he do, does a nice stomp hitting those four units. One Abomination dies. A Fiend dies. Uh, these Berserkers dying very uh, fast if they get focused. I'm not sure if Lucifer should be fighting here. There's a Coil on the Fiend. There goes a Berserker. The tower here just killing skeletons though. There goes another Berserker. This fiend does die. There's another beautiful stomp. The Death Knight used the Info Potion to... Uh, uh, very nicely time to dodge the stomp. And he TP's out. And this statue here takes a bit of damage. Spirit TP's out. Both players just barely above 50 supply. Blade Master level 5. We have so many info potions still over here. Raiders you need for ensnare, otherwise you get out micro. Not if you have berserkers, hello. You have berserkers, you have uh, orbs. I like a second orb better uh, on your shadow hunter than getting uh, more raiders. Of course you want a few raiders, like... Uh, two or, or maximum three. Going for a spirit dodge now. Three, I think, is already too much. I think I like two raiders above 50 supply. And just focus more on damage or... Uh, yeah, damage, mostly. Blade Master almost level five. Shadowhunter almost level five. If he gets those heroes level five, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. See, kind of will have the hero level advantage. The Lich is still far from level 5. Remains are out of gold, by the way. This uh, sacrificial pit is going up. There's a nice dust. Uh, the Blade Master has been dusted. 
You need three because two will be killed too fast. No, I don't like sending my raiders in at all. Like, uh, keep your raiders safe in the back. Don't even fight with them because they do no damage. And sure, they will still be focused. But even if you play no raiders, it's fine. Uh, like, players like fast play zero raiders. Yeah, maybe fast isn't winning the most games. We have a level 5 uh, Blade Master now, level 5 Shadow Hunter. Okay, well, we'll have a fight here soon. Lose for only 54 supplies, so we win at 63. So we finally has the supply advantage. And he has the hero levels advantage. It's looking great now, actually, for Swin. But the hero kill can always change things up. There's a nice silence on both the Blade Master and the Shadow Hunter. I mean, the Blade Master, all heroes, to be honest. And the uh, Berserkers are being focused. One Fiend dies. The Kodo here is, uh, could be focused. I mean, he needs to kill the Kodo, even though these guys are Berserk. Well, he's first going for the Berserkers. The Kodo has an abomination in his stomach. There's another nice stomp. Uh, stomping a Fiend. Okay, the Death Knight now. Use the Info Potion. This Fiend here uh, doing just fine. Blade Master is he's so low. Hit points doesn't kill him. Now use the Info Potion. This uh, Lich attack would have probably killed him. He was at like 52 hit points. There's a coil on the Lich. He's still alive. This for mostly just uh, heroes here. He's trying to kill the Blade Master again. If he can get the Blade Master, he's still in the game. There's a coil. He kills the Blade Master. He's, oh, but his Death Knight, he doesn't have Death Pack, does he? Uh, he does have Death Pack, but there's no units to Death Pack. Uh, what does he Death Pack? The Skeleton? No, he's just, he's just dead. And uh, But these two heroes here for Lucifer, are they still stronger here than this army of Sawin? We'll see. Well, these Berserkers, they just create more skeletons, of course. But uh, Lucifer is going to buy the Death Knight from the Tavern pack first. Are we going to see a Blade Master as well? No, he buys a Blade Master from the Altar. So uh, with the Death Knight here, Lucifer can uh, easily win this fight, of course. Even though the Death Knight has no mana, no, uh, no nothing. We do have uh, Spirit Walkers now. I like those units, of course. Late game. I like them. Even if you don't really use Spirit Link much, you know. Even if your opponent has destroyers. You know, they do magic damage. Which is nice against certain units. They can dispel. Actually, they're still initiate. He's getting a dab now. You can dispel skeletons. You can dispel silence. You can dispel curse. There's no curse. There's no banshees. You can dispel uh, Frost Armor. And just in this matchup, like, you, you don't have any units to do anything. Like, uh, Orc first and that. Your units are mostly just fillers. So, uh, Spirit Walkers are one of the better units. Better filler units. There goes a Peon. There goes another Peon. Peon here is, uh, he's also dead. So we killing more peons. This peon is he's dead. Peon, like I'm not sure why he's killing all these peons. Like they're innocent little peons. They don't deserve to die. Oh, can, does he keep one alive? Oh, because I maybe I convinced Sawin not to kill the last peon. Blade mass here is almost out. There's a raider, more raiders. So again, one, two, three raiders. Under 50 supply. Definitely don't like that. Like, maybe he's going for hero kills. I guess the heroes, at this point, Lucifer's heroes are just so strong. Um, maybe Sawin realizes, you know, the only way to win is to kill the heroes. Let's uh, ignore killing the units. Let's go for the heroes. We do have a Banshee building now, though. For Banshees. Shade. He has a Shades. He has some Shades as well. He, he touches. He missed the... Uh, the dust, interesting. What a sneaky little uh, shade here. Sees that the Blade Master buys something. 50 spy against 50. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like we have 5 5 4 now for Lucifer. Lucifer did catch up kind of in hero levels, not in XP. He's still behind in XP, so these heroes will level up again uh, faster. But the level 6 they don't matter that much on the Shadow Hunter at least. Level 5 on TC will matter, but we'll get that far. There's uh, some nukes here under the Spirit Walker to die. Why was he in ethereal form? 
Uh, they take so much damage from the, the destroyers here. They have not used the info potion. Very, very beautiful timed. Uh, very early, mostly. That's why I like it. This raider here. They just, I mean, they're just so they're just atomic, atomic XP. One of the destroyers did go down. The second one does go down as well. There was no coil. I'm not sure if he coiled something else. But uh, Death Knight, he needs to eat a unit. Oh, he didn't. Did he have time to eat a unit? Well, he tried to, but uh, I guess he didn't. Death Knight died, guys. And that's exactly what Soeen was going for. Level 5 TC. Well, the Lich here, the Lich here is uh, going for the Raider. Use the Info Potion. The Dark Ranger has the Info Potion as well. Can he survive uh, even without the Death Knight? He's just trying to kill the Blade Master. Do we have more healing? Uh, of course. And then we have an Info Potion. GG. Lose for GG's out. <laughs> don't see a difference because you're Noob Taco. Well, I mean, Happy doesn't see a difference. We don't see much difference in his. Uh, him losing and winning. We don't. We see uh, a lot of European players play on net ease and winning. Okay. Well, we see this Renegade Wizard dying here pretty soon. Happy, uh, I think you guys still think Happy has over 220 AE ping. It's probably because uh, he started playing on that ease a long time ago when the ping accelerators weren't as good as they are right now. Scourge Bone Chimes here on the Blade Master. That's a nice item. You see, it's different because he's brutal hurt all the time because of ping. That's That's just what he thinks, right? That's just. He wants every little advantage he can get. But that's how a lot of professional players are. If you play against them in tournaments, uh, the Asians are usually less... Uh, less... I mean, they are they go along with everything. But a lot of the Europeans, even in, uh, even in the Netherlands, when I played in the local tournaments, uh, every player just tries to get every small little advantage they can get. Death Knight here is killing these kobolds. <laughs> a flute of accuracy. That's also super good here that he got from here, of course. Okay, I, I better focus on this game now. A flute of accuracy here for the Death Knight is super item. Here we have Scourge Bone Chimes on the Blade Master. That's uh, also a uh, pretty good item. Although this matchup is, uh, is not as good as in different matchups. Because late game we do, we do see those mass berserkers. And... Uh, yeah, then it's just a blade master really that does a lot of melee damage. Kills the skeleton. A player's forces are under attack. He's going for this. You have about 50%, 55% win rate in Worker 3 Arena, right? I used my Worker 3 Arena account to test uh, when I had a bug. I kept getting disconnected. That's what I used my Worker 3 Arena account for. This assassin is going down pretty fast. We have uh, Ogre, no uh, claws of attack here on the Death Knight. There goes the skeleton. Not disconnected, my game crashed. What will be your win rate? If I was a player, of course my win rate would be amazing. We have two grunts here being microed. Blade Master is going uh, for the script down over here. He has two slippers of agility now and two circlets. The Geomancer is that manual of health here for the Blade Master. Meanwhile, we have a Death Knight over here. He's almost level three. He will get level 3 here from this creep camp. This Cobalt Taskmaster is going down pretty fast.
Shadow Hunter is level one. School of the Beast. Right. Okay, well, Blade Master uh, does have level two Windwalk. Very typical here for uh, Sawin. Um, although it's fine, of course. It's fine. This matchup in this situation. Let's see if we can uh, find some kills. Death Knight is level 3. He's going for a Fiend, but the Fiend has... Lost armor, takes a coil. It's fine. Here, Cole was dying, but that's actually the Shadow Hunter. He's, uh, he was creeping very close. Oh, this this Fiend can't get the Fiend. Where's the coil? There's no coil. There's no mana for the coil. The Fiend is running. Blade Master was slowed, but the Fiend is dead. The Fiend is dead. Can he kill it with the Ghoul? No, the Ghouls are uh, chopping trees. The Death Knight and the Lich did a great job. Oh, we have this fight here. We have a false armor here on the Death Knight. Always oh, Lich, never Pit Man. Boring. The Pit Lord would be uh, taken third, not second, if we see Pit Lord. But I'm not sure. We have seen Happy play Pit Lord again recently, but folk, uh, but uh, Lucifer, I haven't seen him play Pit Lord in a while. He played Crypt Lord in the third game. Thir uh, first game. Master here. Just trying to get some uh, creep kills. There's a nice dust. The Blade Master has been dusted. Uh, but he still steals the creep. Uh, not the creep, but the item. One of the mana stealing. Not sure if he. Uh, do we have an orb yet? No orb yet. We do have a TP for Lucifer, but he doesn't even need it. Not yet, at least. Lost arm. Oh, Skull of the Beast used here by Sawin. Okay, an immediate TP here. He's also out of mana, so he couldn't uh, save that fiend. The second fiend lost there. And a TP lost, but that uh, Skull of the Beast was used. Uh, although the Skull of the Beast would have been not as strong once we have destroyers. So that was actually pretty nice by Serene. Using the Skull of the Beast before it became useless. The Blade Master going for the Murloc creep camp here on the right side. He's just killing this Murloc by himself. While the Shadow Hunter is going for this creep camp, I guess. There's a TC, has an orb. There is a Kodo. are healing Death Knight sells some items he has um, mana potion is gonna buy uh, what hero is going to go for is it gonna be a dark ranger it's not a crypt lord is it going to be a, a pit lord crypt lord uh, I mean a pit lord a dark ranger or a dark naga no it's a dark ranger instead and uh, the, the Shadow Hunter is level 3 now. And he just lets the TC creep. Very smart. Just let the. Oh, the Blade Master almost level 4. Wonder if you just want to creep into level 4. Get a level 2 critical strike. That's probably more important than level 2 TC. I'm not sure if we can get to level 3 though. Lucifer here, 44 supply, 49 here. Uh, for the. Uh, for Sawin. There's silence on the TC only, but that's fine. Uh, the radio here takes a bit of damage. He goes down so fast. The statue was killed here. The fiends, are they being micro beautifully here? Yes, they are. There's uh, some micro on the Kodo. He dies pretty fast. This this, this, radio, this uh, ghoul died. There's a stomp. The Dark Ranger. Where's the coil? The, there's no coil because the Death Knight is a little sealed. But the Dark Ranger was micro beautifully. No, she didn't. She died just before the coil arrived. And uh, Blade Master now going for this Fiend. There's a coil at this time. It wasn't time to save the Fiend. Uh, the Frost Armor did get dispelled. Purge. Uh, the Ghoul goes down. The, the Fiend here is, is dead. The next Fiend here is also dead. The Shadow Hunter shows up. But he gets nuked immediately. Is he going to survive though? No, of course not. The Lich kills him. But that's the only thing that went well for Lucifer. He lost so much. He's down 9 supply. What are you casting tomorrow? Fast Cup or Super GCS? I'll cast GCS tomorrow. Player's forces are under attack.
Maybe he is win if he has pit man. Well, the TC is now level three. We have uh, level four blade master, level three shadow hunter once he's back, and level three TC. This is uh, not looking good for Lucifer. He doesn't even have a level three lich, and his dark ranger is level one. His death knight is level three. He has the flute, and uh, yeah, that's it. Temple of the Damned. We have uh, fiends. Things are going great for uh, Sawin. He's building two towers. He's going for an expansion here in a moment. Temple of the Damned going up. There's a headhunter. He's going for the berserkers. And a pocket uh, expansion. Tiny great hole. Skeleton scouting this base here. And there goes the skeleton. That is dead. Happy plays Worms vs. Orc now. Uh, PCG plays Worms against Orc. TBCBM plays Worms against Orc sometimes, I believe. But the Happy Lucifer. 120. Oh, nice Sepper. Blade, Blade Master is uh, not finishing the job, though. But yeah, uh, the, the top and dead players don't play uh, Boss Worms against Orc. Well, I mean, just a separate trade isn't isn't that nice. The Blade Master doesn't kill any Acolytes, you know, cancels his next cigarette. It is still a good trade, of course. And he buys a bit of extra time for his expansion. It's just annoying here for Lucifer. But Super GCS, uh, it's like there was an invitation for like the top four players, uh, the players th that did the best in GCS 2017. Uh, but I don't know, things changed and Foggy and Focus, uh, I think they were invited or, but they didn't, I don't know, things changed. So it's no longer Foggy and Focus, I think it's still 120 and Infi. Oh, this, uh, this, oh no, one tw uh, no, I forgot, never mind. Oh, Akasis fr uh, fight first, the Banshee went down, the Kodo here is, is hungry, uh, the Raider there goes down, we have a uh, Fiend, oh, this Fiend takes so much damage here, by the Berserker, the uh, Grunt, this uh, Kodo ate a Fiend, so tasty, nice Frost Nova, this uh, Kodo is still up, there goes a the Berserker, this Fiend is so dead, he, he dies easy peasy, this ber Berserker is very low on hit points. This for has only zero left, uh, but uh, that's enough maybe to kill Shadow Hunter. But that's about it. He doesn't even get the Shadow Hunter, or does he? Uh, the statue went down. The Shadow Hunter takes another healing wave. There was no false Nova to finish off the uh, GG maybe. GG, GG. Okay, GG. Three zero for Sween. Hi to Chaco.